I had just come down from an entrance very, very high above the stage. And I came around a corner, and one of my castmates, Isabel Keating, came around the corner and grabbed me and said, he fell, and she was just panicked. And then I heard everything stop. All of us, our, our hearts went into our throats and our stomachs clenched up. Uh, it was one of the worst nights I can remember. Um, of course, it's a happy ending now. Chris is up, around, walking, came and saw the show the other night. But, um, yeah, it was, it was a terrible thing to be a part of. Uh, it's fun to be uh, in something that's the center of the national conversation, or if at least not the center, somewhere in the conversation. So that's really fun because wherever I go, if I say I'm doing Spider-Man, most people say, oh, how are you? Uh, because they have an idea that we're all dropping out of the sky over there. But um, we're not. Peter Parker is the every boy, the every man. Yeah, got bitten by a spider. Could happen to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Once you put on that costume, anybody can be Spider-Man. So the thing that made me excited was Julie Taymor because I knew that with her involvement, her guidance, her vision, it would be an amazing project and something that I would want to be a part of. Colleagues, other actors uh, have opinions about the show being safe or unsafe. If they think the show is unsafe, I always try to call them and reassure them that and not only is our show safe, it's probably the safest show on Broadway. Just like, you know, the plane that gets hijacked is going to be the safest plane in the air the next time out. I was very proud of our producer for having the courage to just bite the bullet and do it and know that there'd be a big thing of negative press and know that very likely some critics would come in before it was finished uh, and to say, well... We're not going to freeze the show until March 15th.